Casualties of War, an Alliance Archives Adventure, by Danielle Ackley MacPhail. The first casualty of war is innocence. Platoon. The sounds of fighting were long silenced, replaced by the squabbling of scavengers. Birds and beasts that Devon assumed were little different from those found picking over any other battlefield throughout time, regardless of the planet. No people had come yet to claim, strip, or add to the corpses. But he gripped the stock of his useless weapon tight, just in case, as he peered into the dark, watching for any motion. A glance at the stars showed a faint glow to his left on the horizon. Not long until dawn, when he could get a few hours of rest before the daylight creatures came for their share of the leavings. He had to wonder if he would be counted as a leaving by then, and shuddered, gasping as his wounds shot sharp pains up his legs and into his groin in response to the motion. He gritted his teeth and forced himself still. It took long moments and left him exhausted. When he managed it, he lay there and stared up at the sky, wondering how the hell war had become any more pertinent in his life than the history his granddad taught him. Even now it didn't feel real, despite his injuries. Yet the memory of the Dominion convoy rolling into town haunted him awake or sleeping, until panic constantly churned his gut. Grim, dusty soldiers, with their rifles in their grips instead of slung across their backs. Battered jeeps and large open transports, some piled with supplies, others holding men and strong back youths like himself. Though he and his granddad were new to Demeter, some of them Devon had recognized from trading with neighboring towns. Granddad had tried to sneak him to the edge of the forest, where he could hide in the far-up canopy of the towering trees. But soldiers had been waiting at the other side of the settlement as well. Devon's last memory of his granddad was his crumbled body on the ground, blood flowing over his face and into the dirt. Others from the town had rushed to help the old man up, but the transport they had dumped Devon into was already driving away. A dry, cracking sob tore from his raw throat, and he bit off any others inclined to follow before he drew the attention of the scavengers he heard but could not see. His heart pounded as he listened for sounds of the beasts approaching. For now, they seem more interested in the corpses. Or perhaps they just had not come across him yet. The scent of his dried blood, no competition for that of the carrion strewn over the fields in front of him. He leaned back against the boulder where he dragged himself for shelter, grateful for the protection at his back. As his heartbeat slowed, he noticed a faint, warm pulse against his chest coming from the alliance tags hanging around his neck. They weren't there to fool anyone. The Dominion officers gave out extra rations to the conscripts for every set of tags turned in. This was the first Devon had ever claimed. They would never know the kill wasn't his. Not that Devon was likely to have a chance to collect the bounty. He shuddered, gasped, and resumed watching the dark for motion until dawn broke and the scavengers returned to their dens, or wherever they went to ground. His eyes burned from staring into nothing, and the cold cramped his hand around the gunstock, but what was one more ache against the multitude of others? Despite his best effort, Devon succumbed to sleep.